Good morning, Eagle Nation. It's a Thursday. It is the 24th, 24th of March, and it's the 137th day of school. The song that you just heard was um, Love Story, also known as Romeo and Juliet. It's a Taylor Swift song dedicated by Rosabella this morning in first grade. She dedicates that song to Emma because we sing it at lunch. That's beautiful. Thank you, Rosabella, for that song dedication. So nice to hear. Uh, wherever you may be, please stop and stand. Let's rise together for this morning's Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Some days start earlier than others, and sometimes things need to be just adjusted. So, I'm going to go push-ups. We're going to knock out 15 today. You going to join me? I'm going to count them out loud. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, How'd you do? All right, enough of that. Let's get on with it for today. It's Thursday. It's also known as Friday Eve. Lots going on. Um, after school today, the leadership team will be meeting to continue our process of the comprehensive needs assessment. And this is important to all of you as teachers because this is how um, decisions get made and how um, resources are aligned for subsequent school years. Students, this is important to you because the decisions that these teachers will make this evening will be impacting you uh, for also the year ahead. So thank you to all of you teachers for your contributions, for your leadership, uh, and students, thank you for putting your trust in us. We're gonna do a good job with it. We have tonight and one more night next week, and then we'll be sharing out with all of you what, uh, what came of it. What do we learn from our comprehensive needs assessment and what does it mean to us? So stay tuned for more. Also coming up, uh, if you didn't already hear, our pool test on Tuesday yielded all negative results. Everybody turned negative res results, which is a good thing because it means our mitigation strategies continue to work. So please continue to wear your mask, wash your hands frequently, or use hand sanitizer. And I've noticed at lunches, a lot of students are going straight into the cafeteria without using either hand sanitizer or washing. Please, 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 please be sure to do that. Testing season is upon us and it's really uh -huh. difficult to come back and make up a test later. It's just best to do it when all of your classmates are there. Also, if you have dentists or doctor's appointments, please schedule those for the month of May. For the month of April, please do not schedule dentist or doctor's appointments unless you can do them after school for the same reasons. You'll miss your test, it's difficult for you to make up and we want you to do your best. Um, continue to keep your distance, stay in your zones, your cohorts. All those things have been working, they do still matter. Thank you for doing them. Uh, just keep up the great work. We've got 44 school days left, I think. Um, so keep it up. This weekend, on Saturday, uh, from 10.30 until 2.30, your entire school district, so thousands of people, are going to be convening at Hans Park, which is only about one mile from here. And you're invited. We'd love for you to be there. Emerson will have a booth. Uh, we'll be playing the game Operation, you know, with the jittery hands and you have to pull the bones out. Well, we'll be there playing Operation uh, to highlight or spotlight Mini Med School, which just started yesterday. We'll also be um, spotlighting some other things about us and so some conversations to be had today. Hopefully there's still some interest. Um, and uh, Phoenix Youth Circus Arts. Some of, five of our students have been practicing and preparing. They're gonna perform on stage. Uh, for about five minutes to showcase some of the things that we do at Emerson to provide for you a well-rounded education. 
So if you haven't uh, thought about it, please do. If you haven't yet signed up for one hour, teachers asking if you would consider coming for one hour. I'll be there for four hours volunteering. Mr. Avides will be there for the second half of it as well. And we're just asking for, for folks to come out. So find a colleague or a friend, get brunch or breakfast, and then just join us for one hour, see what the buzz is about. And all you gotta do is sit there and help people play operation and then you know, give prizes or candy if they actually do it with their, with their jittery hands. So come out and see it for whatever your reasons are. Come join us. With that, let's get to some words of wisdom so you can get to the business of teaching and learning today. And so I thought I would share with you some words of wisdom that come in the words of students. So here they are. They're short and sweet. You are perfect because of your imperfections. Do what inspires you. Life is too short not to love the job you do every day. Kids said these things. Complaining will not get anything done. At the end of the day, you've done your best. Even if you haven't accomplished all that's on your list, you've given it your all. You don't need to have figured it all out. Taking the wrong path is part of the process. Never lose yourself because of someone else. You are perfect just the way you are. Two more. Trust your gut. If you ever feel it's not right, then it's not. Last one. A smile is a free way to brighten someone's day. With something to think about. This is Mr. Lodato. Mask up today. Increase your distance. Stay in your zone of your cohorts. Keep your cell phones put away. And then make it a great day. Or not, the choice is yours.